Um, Jocelyn Villemont, um, this is Camille Wezek, and we are both part of It's Our Playground artistic duo. Um, we started working together 10 years ago, making exhibitions, mostly working as curator when we were working together. And um, during those 10 years, our practice developed into a more like sculptural, installation based uh, practice, still embedding the uh, exhibition making uh, process into it, but more hybrid than just curating. So photo museum project, it's called All That Matters, because first I think when we looked at the collection, we thought, okay, we're gonna select some work, like we started like that. We tend to always do that, like we select some works, and then we're like, okay, we need to select more things, like um, documentation of previous exhibitions and text from uh, situations uh, websites and um, all kind of yeah content we could gather and for, for like from the institution but from from afar so uh, anything we could access on the photo museum website and could use as a material to do this online residency the online residency is pretty much um, it's not very different from what we used to do in like 2010 when we um, made the website so it's basically just a way to for us to display some research and it also could be considered as an exhibition space as well um, but for this one i think maybe what's more like transparent is that we work on the website at the same time as uh, people can visit it so Sometimes I we added this little um, live, live logo. logo, meaning like once it's live, we are actually adding content or, or taking, taking some, off some, or some, yeah, some stuff around, moving objects, adding it. So it and and this appear live on the on the screen of any visitor. When we built the website in the first place, um, it was really it was a way for us to. Um, to say that there's no, no much difference for us between an artwork and its documentation. As a student already, like we used to go onto like Contemporary Art Daily or website displaying works or like documentation of works that we always consider like an equivalent of the actual work. So we don't really tend to make any difference between seeing the work in the flesh and seeing it like on the screen. What I noticed is that we take more care of when we come to the museum, when we come to the photo museum, we look more in, at how is it printed, is how, it framed? how is it framed, how is the picture really, because you read now a lot of images are in HD and really sharp and then you really want the picture you see in the reality really sharp but sometimes behind the screen is so flat that we are so used to it then that's the reality and then when you see the work it's suddenly really different it's been yeah it's been through a different process yeah. and um but and i think yeah. the main surprise most of the time is just seeing the scale of the work like that's what you tend to lose online once an image is online Mostly images of work, but once it's online and once you can capture it or get something of it, then it's totally free for... It's a new material, basically. Like, we would buy some wood or glue or, I don't know, plexiglass and mm -hmm. that's like... Then, then these pictures became, like, become material, they become like textures or colours. They're sort of abstracted from their actual meaning or sometimes we tend to use them like exactly as we would use like a physical material um, but at the same time being totally aware of the platform yeah. where it is uh, displayed being aware of the background that of the project it's of give a new meaning like for example for a series of work where we sort of overlap dozens of images of artworks we really 
we would like to show in an exhibition, but we just overlap them with different uh, transparencies. Um, suddenly, it has to also to do with seeing an exhibition, like a really short, really flash exhibition, but also deals with all the images we store in our uh, folders on our uh, computers, but also all the images that get printed into our brain that we sometimes forget the color or the shape or the size or the texture.